Okay, I'm gonna today show you how to create videos with Adobe Spark, just the beginning really. You can actually do this using your phone, your iPad, your device, your computer, it doesn't matter. And it works a little bit like uh, Microsoft PowerPoint in that you create slides uh, in the software, but the beauty is that you then talk over the slides and in the end it just stitches it together and creates quite a nice little um, video. So, let's get started. So let's get started in Adobe Spark. So I'm gonna click sign in. And again, like most programs, you can sign in with your Google Classroom, uh, your Google Apps account. So you might do continue with Google or you might log in with your school account. And once it's loaded, it looks like this in your home screen. So I'm gonna hit create a project in the top left corner and then I'm going to go down to video. Now the first page, I'm going to give it a title. So for my lessons uh, this week is um, uh, employment sectors. Click next. Uh, and then there's a variety of different templates you can use or you can start from, from basic, have teacher lesson, come back. So I'm gonna pick that one. Now there's some quick getting started tips. You might wanna look there, but I'm gonna get rid of that for now. So, and it works a little bit like a PowerPoint. You've got several squares down here. And the idea is that you add information into each one and you can record it. So first one is overview. So I'm gonna put a maybe a title in. And the title of mine is employment sectors okay i then might add picture so i might add photo uh, i can maybe find the photo or copy something from google drive google photos i think you'll be able to copy and paste off the internet okay so i'm going to click find free photos and then I'm going to type in job at the top and it comes up with these find a suitable one let's go with this person with some money here and that gets put into the background there so I can now start recording if I hold down this employment sectors are different areas in which people work in our community there are basically four main sectors. There are primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. And I'll play that back to you. Employment sectors are different areas in which people work in our community. There are basically four main sectors. Okay, I wasn't happy with that, so I might redo it. Employment sectors are different ways in which people can work and earn money. Employment sectors are different ways in which people can work and earn money. So when I get to screen two, I'm then gonna introduce the ideas. I'm gonna do a split screen here. So I've got a side on the left and then a side on the right. I'm gonna hit plus and then I'm gonna get text on the right. And then I've got primary industry, secondary industry, tertiary industry, and quaternary industry. Okay, just those. left hand side I'm going to put in another picture this time I think I'll search for industry I'll go with that picture I spell industry wrong <laughs> 
Okay, and now I'm going to record my audio. There are four main industry sectors. There's primary industry, secondary industry, tertiary industry, quaternary industry. Again, I can click play and preview that. Just going to move on without finishing it to show you how it sort of looks. Um, you can change your theme at any point and it will change it to a different, a different style. Now, uh, you can resize, you can make it a widescreen or square, you probably still want it widescreen. And then behind you, it always plays some sort of little music to keep people going. And again, you can preview the different types of music. If I press play now, it will play the whole thing through. Employment sectors are ways in which people can work and earn money. There are four main industry sectors. There's primary industry, secondary industry, tertiary industry, quarter. So hopefully that's just given you a little glimpse into how you can start playing with Adobe Spark um, and making some videos and cutting them down into nice chunks to make them concise. Again, when you're done, if you hit download or share, you can download it to your machine or you can share it to YouTube and the like straight from the program. All those things will be useful. So I hope that's been a useful video for you. Thanks.